Okay, this is Kristen. Underneath everything. Oh, right first. Was that right again? Yeah, right again first. Got you, Cliff. We got you. We didn't. We didn't videotape Cliff. But Cliff uses his right paw. And he's a male. Pod. Yeah, this is female. Harmony. Oh, yeah. Hey, big boy. Hey. He's gay. He's so cute. <laughs> Cliff. <laughs> oh, hiya. Oh, my goodness. You are adorable. Oh, left. <laughs> Lace and Poe are both all black. But Poe's a boy and Lace is a girl. Lace. What paw do you prefer? Really? Okay. Oh, that was right. This is Hugo. Hugo is another all black, and that's a boy, right? Oh, left! Oh, Hugo! So that's funny! So just like Poe, another boy left-handed. That's funny. So Hugo's a boy too, and he seems to prefer his left paw too. Paw preference in cats. What are we doing? Making the back bird for school. It's time for the science fair. Yes. Oh yeah. So okay. what'd you choose? Paw preference. Paw preference. What does that mean? You check which paw the cat would pro um, use the most. If they have a dominant paw? Right, if they have a dominant paw. Okay. So is that the problem? Yes. And what's your hypothesis? That most cats would be right pawed, like humans. I mean right handed. Or is your hypothesis that most cats have a dominant paw? Since actually the data that we discovered is that it's kind of equal. We found right and left, right? Yes. We almost found equal right and left, right? Mm -hmm. And is it tied to whether they were female or male? Which, which ones were right and left? So we had a female right, a female right, a male right, so it was inconclusive if there was a, a a major dominance. Like in humans, it's mostly right. Less people are left-handed. I use my left hand for the mouse, though, for the computer. And some people are ambidextrous. Wait, yeah, I use I use both, yeah. But do you write with your left hand? Not usually. So you're not truly ambidextrous. Everyone can use their and right and left it. hand, but only some people can use both for everything. Do you know what I'm saying? I've seen people that can move one of their eyes at one time. Like they can move them outwards and inwards again. Okay, I'm gonna so, start going to step on. Okay, so the, so the, what what was your conclusion? Read that. I learned that three or one third male cats are left pawed and that most female cats are going to be Right paw. Mm. Also, that some of the cats use both paws. The more calm cats. The more calm the, cats. The more calm cats use, use their right, right paw, paw. And playful cats use their left paw. Interesting. That is some interesting data. Alright, so how'd you set up your board? Like this. Show so me. That makes sense. Research. So it makes sense. Oh. Okay. So that's your research. Yes. And then. And that's see. what you based it off of, right? So that's the research you did before starting your exercise. Yes. Okay. So I got the middle here. So you started out with research, procedures, that's how you did it with each cat? Yeah. Then what? Though so the materials that you used? The right center. Then boop, what? Boop, boop, boop. 
The variables. What was that? The independent variable was the gender of cats. The dependent variable if is um, the, if the cats are um, right or left pulled. Okay. And the control variable cut it out of the stuff that we used. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And then... There's the middle. Cute. Problem. That's the problem. Do they have a dominant paw? Yes. What's the hypothesis? When cats see a treat. That they will use the same paw? Yes. And who are these guys? Nice stuff. That's Cliff. That's Cliff. He's cute. I love, love Cliff. He was awesome. And there's Kristen. These are the cats we saw at the Humane Society, right? Yeah. And that's, is that Poe? Or... Okay, and then here's your data that you gathered. Oh yeah, Mellow Yellow. I forgot about Mellow Yellow. Annie, Charlie, Cliff, Kristen. And then we've got Poe pictured. So we have some other ones. There's this Charlie. is Charlie. She's <laughs> gonna be popular. <laughs> and your conclusion. Nice job. Boom! I think it's gonna look great. Boom. Time to glue it. There it is, all completed. Good job. Uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of data. Well, that took an hour though. It wasn't long to put this together, but to put the whole project together. It was like five. It was, it was a long time. We took two trips to the Antietam Humane Society. <laughs> I love it. I think your teacher's gonna love it. I can't wait for you to take it in on I can't wait for you to take it in on Monday. Are you taking it in on Monday? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Finished Great. one day ahead of time. Good That's job. Two, two days. Three. In. Well, you're turning it in on Monday. It was due Tuesday. Oh, yeah. All right. See you guys later. See ya.